Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Undertale. In the last episode, we got to, well, Snowden. A town in snow. Get it? Snowden? It, it's terrible. It's been a while since I played. I've decided for, um, uh, unlike you, Mineko, I'm going to be recording these... Excuse me as I pick up my mic. I'm gonna be recording uh, three videos a day for this. That's about an hour of content. That's not that much, all ca all things considered. But I'm gonna be recording this way more often. So actually, tonight is Monday night. I'm gonna try and record one at least every night, hopefully. Um, but just so you, just to let you guys be aware, recording sessions for Undertale will not be that long. Um, but they will be more frequent. So let's just continue on. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are adorable. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I I still have a a bad voice. Awful teams tormented by a local monster are decorating its tree-like horns. Didn't we, um... I might be wrong, but didn't we fight a monster where we had to undecorate them? Or am I just remembering something wrong? Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a strange... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> this town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. You're wearing a fucking stri striped shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a jab at the Mother series. Hey! It's the characters that we fought up till now. Yeah! Look at them, it's the, they're all here. Let's talk to some of them. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, same people. Help. I, I want new drinks and... <laughs> HOT GUYS! Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It doesn't... it does things like... spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I love to try it sometime, though. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I start... so I heard they're starting to... Uh, they're... they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. Oh. Wait, that's not the jukebox? I thought that was the jukebox. This is just Sans theme for some reason. We're sentries, but we're never but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump onto your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids here want to be just like when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of efficiency. Well. I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. It's playing poker against itself. If <laughs> All right. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk. Please. I love these guys. Let's talk to, uh, the guy here. Grillbees, that's the name of this place and the name of this guy, said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. That's, that's kind of funny. 
Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. So it seems that there's a common lack of a... Uh, there's just a theme of, like, crowdingness, um, just things that are going on. We all know that, uh, the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morse about it? Ah, uh, that's, that's a... You know, I can actually get about around that. Hey, if your life's in a shitty situation, <laughs> by that point, you just fucking laugh about it. Let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure, is, sure has felt boundless. Oh my gosh. Just fucking, just uh, throwing in water. Here, let me actually take a drink real quick. So what's all the way up here? Absolutely nothing. Alright, let's continue. Um, hold on real quick. I need to take a drink. <laughs> I, I do apologize, I just... The back of my throat was bothering me. It's the library, the, the light, the library, what? Lib, rar, b, lib, rar, b. That's not how you spell library. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me world. Word searches and they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. <clears throat> I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Alright. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sun. <laughs> well, at least you acknowledged it. Uh, let's read some books. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Wow, that, um... Yeah. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city. Home! We braved harsh, cold, damp, swampland, and, and searing heat. Until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster's soul does not want to fight, its defense will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful stroll, a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. So that is actually a mechanic of the game. Um, we haven't really gotten into this because we don't really fight all that often, um, in Undertale. Uh, save for a run that we're gonna be doing later. We don't actually fight in this run all that much. But yes, if you were to actually attack monsters, once you start getting their HP low, their defense actually drops. So it becomes easier to fight them as they go on. So, I, I mean, we may get to a point where we have to do that. Um, remember, not all monsters are too keen on mercy. Um, and we were given the tip that we might have to fight them down to the point where they just need to surrender. That might be an issue later down the road. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm, so, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They will never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> it's a school report on monster funerals. Monster funerals. 
technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on a person's living, or a person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. I feel you. I went to fucking college. Can I, okay, can I bitch about this at college? All right. The fucking word limits at college were the worst thing ever. I concisely would make my fucking point in about, like, 20 words, but no, fucking 200 words later of just writing filler bullshit, finally was I able to do anything, and it's locked. What is this? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread mail, uh, junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh. It's empty. I, I guess this one's as sans then. Is this it? Oh shit! Uh, I'm not walking all the way back. That's a good way to get from uh, point A to point B in this town. It's locked from the inside. Oh, I, I thought I could talk to the flower. Why would I ever think I could talk to a flower? Ha 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 ha. Human, allow me to tell you. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I have to get into my, into my power papyrus voice. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever, I don't ever wonder what lose, what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall not be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your. No. No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! And I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Man, being sick and trying to do Papyrus' voice is not okay. I I'm just throwing that out there. Papyrus blocks the way! Let's check him out. His attack is 20, his defense is 20, he likes to... <laughs> um... Wow. Uh... Let's flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally revealed your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I could actually make some spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! God, come on, man. Spaghetti was the first thing that I figured out how to make when I went... when I started living on my own. I guess this means I'll have to go on a date with you. Let's date later. After I capture you! Wow, Papyrus sucks. Yeah, you suck, Papyrus. How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting it? Pap -pap Papyrus. I don't deserve so hospitality from you. Papyrus, you're, um... You're... I'm gonna spare you. So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fatal blue attack! Alright, so I just need to stand still. I, I, I can feel the challenge, Papyrus. Oh! What?! You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> oh, 
Alright, and now the battle truly begins! Introducing the mechanic of Blue Heart! Basically, we have gravity. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear! So now we have to actually jump over the bones! And you thought this was gonna be a simple fight. Nope! <laughs> Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date that- Oh my gosh, we're actually going this route. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay! Okay! Yeah, it's not as simple as a, as you thought. The power stabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, alright. He's okay. He, he's he, brand anime powder behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Okay, okay. Okay, we're we're mixing it up. Okay. Cute juice behind his ear. Oh my gosh. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh, okay. Uh, this is not kosher. Attraction slime behind his ear. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettito- sp Spaghettitor. Spaghettitor! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my gosh. How many fucking sh things are you dabbing behind your ear? Wait, you're a skeleton! You don't even have ears! Beauty yogurt, my goodness. Undyne will be really proud of me. They keep on mentioning this under- Oh, I got hit. This undyne person. Oh my gosh. Y you know what? You do you. <laughs> The king will trim a hedge into the shape of my smile! Wait, what? How did I get hit on one side? So I'm not perfect- Oh my gosh. Um, let's try bicycle. One half of the bicycle- Oh, I get a bicycle. It's an icicle, but there's two of them. My brother will- Well, he won't change very much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, th thanks, thanks for the stupid tip. Speaking of his brother, thanks for the stupid tip, Sans, about, the, you know, standing still. Freaking got me hurt. All the bones. All the bones. Ow! Ow! Preparing a bone attack. Well, anyone will like... <laughs> will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Buddy, I told you, you know, your spaghetti was pretty good. I mean, how many people are gonna tell you your spaghetti is pretty good? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, now they're moving. Come on, man, I'm your spaghetti bro. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Someone like you is really rare. Yeah, and, and someone like me bruises easily. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Papyrus, please. Papyrus. Senpai, don't tell Renault, but Senpai, please. And dating might be kind of fun. We're seriously on the dating thing again? Jeez. Oh my gosh. After you're captured and sent away. Oh my gosh. I am so screwed! Oh, he's cackling. Oh my gosh, I know someone who also cackles. Uh, who cares? Give up! Never! Uh, oh my gosh. Nope. No, okay, yeah, I was taking damage there. Uh, bicycle. The other half of the unisuck. Oh my gosh. Give up or face my special attack! 
You know, it probably sounds better in recording, or it probably sounds better in my head, but I probably sound, like, tired as crap. I'm sorry, that's just, that's just me, um, recording and doing, like, talking all day with my job. I, I do apologize for that. Uh, yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Buddy, you're already giving me a run for my money. Please, no. Not too long, and I will use that special attack! Pyres, please. We're Spaghetti Bros. You can't do this to the Spaghetti Bros. You can't! Don't do it! This is your last chance before my special attack! Stop. Stop! A non-bun attack that spends a minute fixing his... <laughs> mistake behold my special attack what the heck Th that's my special attack hey you stupid dog do you hear me stop munching on that bone hey wh what are you doing come back here with my special attack oh well I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Just getting ready for a regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Watch this attack just be, like, completely BS. Oh, it is, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, normal my ass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sure, normal. Oh, hey, the bone. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh, uh, are, are you serious? Really? You know what? I'll pity you. I'll pity you. Well, I. It, it's clear! You can't. Defeat me! Yeah, I can see you're shaking in your boots! Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy! Let's, uh, let's go with mercy. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you! Undyne is going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quality will remain stagnant. You know, buddy... <clears throat> what a loser! You know, buddy, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then... I guess. I, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first. Oh my gosh, I for I regret. I regret talking about that because he's going on about that, and I'm gonna have to date a skeleton in the next episode, aren't I? That's that's what's gonna happen. I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that I that all I need to make pals was to get people awful puzzles and then fight them? Yeah, it works for me. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power! Then us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you! To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters! He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dremere! Mr. Dreamer, oh, 
Mr. Dreamer. That must be his name, Dramir. Mr. Dramir, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have the date. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to go date him in the next episode. So until then, guys, until then, I will see you guys in the next episode.